Welcome to the third through fifth graders online back to school boot camp 2020 with Julia Hampton Morgan Memorial Library. Introductions, the overview for third through fifth graders for the week. You will meet the staff. You will watch the Check It Out video. You will have a virtual library tour. You will learn about library databases such as BookFlex, TumbleBooks, TumbleMath. You will use the Mrs. Lodge's Library of Shepherd, which is an online game to practice putting books in order. Show to write with the Urban Snap Education Program will talk to you about the dangers of germs and hand washing techniques. And we will have Janice Howell, who will present cupcake decorating. Now it's time to meet the staff. Hello everyone, welcome to the J.K. Louder Family Foundation Children's Learning Center. My name is Fredretta Brown Green. I'm the Children's Librarian here at the Julia Hampton Morgan Public Library. We host a story time here in our Children's Department along with Ms. Lindsay Hamilton and we visit your public schools, daycares, and programs to share a story or two and a craft with you. Now my staff will introduce themselves. Hello guys, I'm Mr. Devin Taylor, Librarian Assistant the Children's Department. Hello, I'm Lindsay Hamilton. I'm the Young Adult Librarian in the Young Adult Department. Hello, I'm Miss Margaret Smith and I'm the Children's Page. Hi, I'm Angela Watts, a Library Assistant one here. Check this out. Click on the video below. Check this out. The Montgomery City County Public Library System has 11 convenient locations to serve you, has over 500,000 items in circulation, and adds over 20,000 items each year. Check this out. Within the Montgomery City County Public Library System, you can choose from nine languages to learn through our interactive language programs. Cost to you? Free. You can get online with your own computer or at one of our computer workstations. Cost to you? Free. You can use your library card to check out books, CDs, and movies at one of our 11 locations. Cost to you, free. And you can have some fun in one of our video gaming centers. Cost to you, free. Check this out. Within the Montgomery City County Public Library System, if you don't see the title you're looking for, you can request any title available in our entire library system to be delivered to the location nearest you. Cost to you, free. You can access our rare book collection and Ancestry.com to assist you with your research or genealogy projects. Cost to you, free. And you can participate in a variety of programs including Dial a Story, book clubs, and computer classes. Cost to you, free. And check this out. At the Montgomery City County Public Library System website, you can access our online catalog to see what's available and even place a hold on that material. Cost to you, free. And you can tap into the Alabama Virtual Library, a database that provides access to thousands of magazine, journal, and newspaper articles. Cost to you, free. The Montgomery City County Public Library System. Check out our website at mccpl.lib.al.us or call 334-240-4300 for the location and hours of the library nearest you. Tour. Click on the video below. Welcome to the Juliet Hampton Morgan Memorial Library. I'm Zeloquise Holmes, head librarian. Let's get started on our library tour. Welcome to the circulation department. I'm Angelica Simmons, the head of circulation, and this is my team of library assistants. Hi, I'm Abby. Hi, I'm Arachnus. I'm Jasmine. Yeah. Here at Circulation, we issue new cards and renew privileges. We also answer your phone calls and questions. And we help you with the check-in and check-out books. Also on the first floor, we have our sub-checkouts where you check in, check out, and renew items. We have local, regional, and national newspapers. So here at the first floor, we have our new book section. We have adult fiction and nonfiction. They stay here for six months, and then they move on upstairs. My name is Alicia Bailey Walton. I am a library assistant one here in the media services department at the Julia Hampton Morgan Memorial Library. I will give you a tour of media services today. We'll start off with our listening stations. You are allowed to come in and watch a movie or listen to an audiobook for one hour per day. 
We have books on CD. They start with fiction, mystery, story collection, science fiction, and westerns. We also still have books on tape. So for those of you all that would like to come in and get books on tape, we have those available for you. Thank you for touring the media department today. Our final thing that I will show you are our DVD movies. Now, what I do want you to remember is that all DVD movies are housed here in the media section. Hello everyone, welcome to the J.K. Louder Family Foundation Children's Learning Center. My name is Fredretta Brown Green. I'm the Children's Librarian here at the Julia Hampton Morgan Public Library. We host a story time here in our children's department along with Ms. Lindsay Hamilton and we visit your public schools, daycares, and pre-K programs to share a story or two and a craft with you. Now my staff will introduce themselves. Hello guys, I'm Mr. Devin Taylor, Librarian Assistant in the Children's Department. Hello, I'm Lindsay Hamilton. I'm the Young Adult Librarian in the Young Adult Department. Hello, I'm Miss Margaret Smith and I'm the Children's Page. Hi, I'm Angela Watt, the Library Assistant one here. When you enter the Children's Department, the Library Assistants are here to assist you with book title requests, book hold requests, basic internet search, and computer use. Our Library Page is here to shelve the books. She keeps them in order, so you can come in and find your books easily. And our young adult librarian is located in the young adult department and she hosts all the teen programs. Now we will begin our tour. Hey guys, again, I'm Devin Taylor, librarian assistant here at the Juliet Hampton Memorial Library. We would like to start our tour here in our easy reader fiction section. If you guys will just look right here, you will find our easy level readers and you'll be able to find out which book you're looking for and pick the particular book that you're looking for for your child's reading level if you just look here in this top left corner and sometimes you'll find it in that corner there on those items. And uh, again, you'll be able to pick exactly what book you're looking for to uh, aid your child in their reading. And if I can get you guys to look just right here, on most of these books you'll find an E right here on the spine that indicates easy for that item. Here you will find our cardboard books, usually used by our toddlers. And if you will just follow me here, from this space here to here, and back here, here is where we do our story times for ages zero to six. Here you'll find our lovely collection of audio CDs, books on tape, which consist of a book and the cassette tape, our reference material, juvenile reference, and our magazine collection. Enhance the quality of your experience here at the library, we have added additional Macs, PCs, and smart boards. Again guys, if we could pick back up right here, this area here will conclude our juvenile reference material and we will pick up right here in our juvenile nonfiction material. And proceed around to this space here. With our juvenile biography collection, which starts here and carry on around to this area here. And we would like to thank you guys for joining us today here in the Children's Department. Again, I am Devin Taylor, our head of our department, Ms. Green. You will see both of us here the majority of the time. And again, thank you guys, and we will see you guys when we open up. So here in the young adult section, we have nine Dell computers, we have two smart boards, and we have six Apple computers that our teens frequently use. So this is our young adult collection, which includes media, reference, fiction, and nonfiction. This is our AV studio, which is available for patrons of all ages. All you gotta do is just sign up at the YA desk. And inside, we've got a keyboard, a 3D printer, and a computer, which has audio and video editing software. Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne Horton. I'm head of reference here for the Juliet Hampton Morgan Memorial Library, and this is my reference crew. I'm Andrew, a librarian too. I'm Eric, librarian too. I'm Parker, librarian too. I'm Brenda, librarian too. 
Elizabeth, librarian two. I'm Kiana, I'm a library page. Marcus, library page. So now we're going to show you uh, the reference department. In the reference department, we provide digital, phone, and in-person reference assistance. We also handle interlibrary loan services for the city of Montgomery and the county. Um, we house our reference collection and our circulating nonfiction collection, which includes biography. We also have, on this side of the room, uh, eight PCs and eight Macs, which are available for public use, specifically set aside for reference and research purposes. And we also provide adult programming for the county and city uh, in various formats, um, digital and in person. In this section, we have our information and current events boards. Information board just has information from the library that we feel that the public might be uh, interested in. Our current events board is where we would post uh, things about our upcoming programs or other events in the city or county. And then we also have a Xerox machine here that provides black and white photocopies and scanning services. Directly across from the reference desk, we have our circulating fiction collection, and that includes paperback and large print, as well as genre fiction. We also have a periodicals collection and a collaboration center, which is fully wired and internet accessible, and it does have a smart board that patrons can also use. We also have our online catalogs, which patrons can use to search for items in the collection that's at any one of our 10 locations by author, subject, or several other search filters. This is our Montgomery Room, which houses our rare book collection, as well as a collection of books by local Alabama and Montgomery authors. This collection does not circulate. It is here for research purposes, and the public is welcome to come in and peruse the collection. We also have a microfilm collection of the Montgomery Advertiser and the Alabama Journal, as well as a newspaper clipping for various historical events in the history of Montgomery and Alabama. The room behind me is known as our global classroom. It's a bookable space that can be used by the public or librarians to present programs to members of the public of all ages. Hello, my name is LaRouf Martin, and I'm the computer lab manager at the Morgan Library. We have 30 computers available for patrons to access the internet and Microsoft computer applications. We also offer open lab computer classes on Saturdays and adult computer classes on Tuesday. For more information about the Montgomery City County Public Library, you may access www.mccpl.lib.al.us. System, abbreviated DDC. The DDC is a way of organizing the contents of a library. It is widely used in schools and public libraries around the world. Dewey is also responsible for much of the development of library science in the United States. So let's talk about the Dewey Decimal System. The Dewey Decimal System was created by Melville Dewey in 1876. The Dewey Decimal Classification System is a method of categorizing books in a library by subject matter. It is a numerical system using groupings of 10. There are 10 major classes, each of which has 10 divisions, and each of which has 10 sections, and books are placed on the shelf in numerical order. In most libraries, the Dewey number and the first three letters of the author's last name become the book's call number. And let's talk, let's talk about that. Under each call number, there are different topics, starting with 0 to 099. The topics are computers, libraries, and encyclopedias. Moving on to 100 to 199, those topics are feelings, emotions, ghosts, and the supernatural.
For 200 to 299, those topics are religion and mythology. For 300 to 399, those topics include the government, subjects about money, armed forces, holiday, and folk tales. We're getting there. So for 400 to 499, those topics would be languages, dictionary, grammar. For 500 to 599, those topics include science, math, the planets, dinosaurs, habitats, plants, birds, and wild animals. Now for 600 to 699, those include inventions, how to make things, the human body, medicine, and pet care. For 700 to 799, those are drawings, photography, paintings, origami, music, games, riddles, sports. That's where you'll also find your graphic novels. So winding down, for 800 to 899, those include literature, poems, and plays. And finally, for 900 to 999, those are geography, history, countries, and travel. Wouldn't that be nice? What is fiction? Fiction is a story that is made up. Fiction is not real. It can also be a literary work based on your imagination rather than on facts, like a novel or a short story. Some fictions can be based on a true story. Some examples of genres for fiction is romance, science, fiction, mystery, fantasy, horror, and crime thrillers. Nonfiction. Nonfiction is based on real facts. Nonfiction refers to stories that are based on events that really happen. The characters are real people too. Some examples include biographies, dictionaries, and encyclopedias. Thanks for watching our third through fifth grader online back to school boot camp 2020 with Julia Hampton Morgan Memorial Library.